This tutorial is an overview of the new assignment page when creating an online assignment. Once you have used the Assignment Bank Builder to build your online assignment, click View, Assign, and here you have the new assignment page. Once you are here, you will see the dynamic questions and shuffle order toggles at the top right hand corner of the page. Both dynamic questions and shuffled order will default to on. When these are both turned on, students will receive different questions from the same stems in a shuffled order. This may be most ideal for an assessment or asynchronous work. When both dynamic questions and shuffled order are off, the students will receive the exact same assignment. This may be most ideal for whole class or small group explicit direct instruction. You can also do a mix of both. With dynamic questions on and shuffled order off, students receive different questions from the same stems in the same order. With dynamic questions off and shuffled order on, students receive the same questions but in a shuffled order. You can also set a start date for your assignment. This will be the date that the assignment shows up in your student's assignment list. Take note that if you are creating multiple assignments at once, you can stagger the start dates depending on what day you want the assignment to populate in the student's assignment list. Choosing a due date is optional. Just note that when adding a due date, the assignment will lock out after the due date has come and gone, and students won't be able to access this assignment without your assistance. Your next option is to set an available after and an available before time frame. You can also just choose one or the other. By setting one or both time frames, the assignment will show up in your student's assignment lists after, before, or during the period of time that you specify. To set a specific time, click in the field, then use the arrows to set the desired time frame in one or both of the fields. Your next set of options are the drawing tools, text-to-speech, and instructional videos. The drawing tool is defaulted to on. You can toggle this off or on as desired. The drawing tool allows students to show their work when completing assignment. Their work is automatically saved and can be accessed by both student and teachers at a later time. The text-to-speech function will read the math problem as well as the question out loud to the students with a click of a button. A server carried five trays with two entrees on each tray. How many entrees did she carry all together? This can be turned on or off when creating the assignment. From here, you are also able to toggle off and on the instructional videos that are available for the stems you chose. If you turn this on, students will have access to clicking a link and watching a quick conceptual or procedural video, which will assist them in solving the mathematical problem. Or, we could say, there are six groups of three, and so six times three equals 18. And finally, you can choose which students your assignment will be pushed out to. Go to the student section at the bottom of the page. As you can see, you can filter by section or by intervention. Section refers to your class for general education teachers, or it can also indicate class period for single subject or RSP or SPED teachers. If you want to assign your whole class, go to the filter section field and choose which class or period you want to assign to. However, if you are wanting to assign to a specific intervention group you have created, X out of all of your sections and go over to the intervention. Click in the field and choose which intervention group you want to assign to. Once you have chosen which group of students you want to assign to, you must then click Add All. This populates each individual student in the field. You can always add more students by clicking in the field and typing in the first few letters of their name or their SID number, or you can drop students by clicking the X in the blue bubble with their name. Then push out your assignment by clicking the green Create Assignment button at the bottom of the page. Thank you for watching this tutorial on the overview of the new assignment page for when you are creating an online assignment.